It's official. The shovels are in the ground. Canada's biggest battery factory is now being built. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I personally love news stories like this. I've just done a couple of negative ones on Rivian and Lucid, which kind of, I don't really like doing them because... I'm trying to provide people with facts and help them not to lose their money. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like I'm poo-pooing these EV companies, which I quite like. Anyway, the shovels are in the ground. The foundations are being poured and the biggest EV battery project in Canadian history has begun. We are talking about PowerCo. It's the battery arm of the Volkswagen Group and their massive gigafactory in St. Thomas, Ontario. For years, we've talked about the plans, the promises, and the incentives. As of October the 28th, 2025, it is real. Construction has officially started on three massive buildings, totaling 850,000 square feet. This is more than just concrete and steel. This is the physical start of Canada's bid to become a global EV powerhouse. And the numbers, they are absolutely staggering. For one, they're building the right kind of batteries. A lot of factories are not right now, so they have a big advantage. Let's be clear about what I'm talking about here. This is not a small factory, guys. This is Power Company's third and largest gigafactory worldwide. The investment alone is up to $7 billion. That's um, 5 billion euros. And just to get this thing off the ground by 2030, it's going to cost a lot of money, but um, for good reason. This is going to very efficiently make batteries. And I want to get to what batteries it's going to make and why those batteries will actually matter. Anyway, the actual total amount of batteries will be 90 gigawatt hours per year. 90. It's one of the biggest battery factories in the world, in fact. And that's enough to power 1 million electric vehicles annually. One factory enough batteries to power 1 million cars every year. This is designed to be the largest EV battery plant in all of North America. And it's not in the United States, it's in Canada. To visualize the scale of the immediate work, the Canadian construction crew, Magil Construction, is pouring over 32,000 cubic meters of concrete and installing nearly 5,000 metric tons of rebar or reinforcing steel. They are laying the groundwork for a facility they could span an area the size of 210 football fields. My, I don't know how to actually picture this personally, 210 football fields. The timeline production is targeted for 2027. This isn't some distant pipe dream either. This is happening now and it's moving really fast. So, what will this mega factory actually be, be, be building? I mean, obviously batteries, but um, this is not just any old batteries. It's PowerCo's advanced unified cell technology. This is the real game changer here that makes this factory an absolute must watch. Think of it like this. For years, every EV model needed a custom battery, a different shape, a different chemistry. Uh, it was complex and expensive. Volkswagen and PowerCo solution is the unified cell. This is a prismatic battery cell design with standardized dimensions. It's a one size fits all models approach. Well, not all, but most. The brilliance here is the flexibility. They can use the exact same cell design and factory equipment, but change the chemistry inside the cells to meet different needs. This is very unusual to do this. Lithium ion phosphate they can use for lower cost and standard range vehicles, high manganese, no cobalt for mid range, and NMC, nickel manganese cobalt for high performance and long range vehicles. So three different types of battery chemistries all going in the exact same cells. It's quite, quite interesting. PowerCo aims to use this unified design for up to 80% of all Volkswagen Group EVs across all of its brands from Skoda to Porsche to Volkswagen cars to Audi, all of them. This standardization is projected to reduce battery costs by up to 50%. That's a big number. 
Now, could it compete if it was being made in China with other companies? Probably not. But the St. Thomas plant isn't just building batteries. It's implementing the future of mass market EV battery production, positioning Canada as a hub for this cutting edge tech. This project is existential for Canada's auto industry. For decades, Canada has been a strong part of the North American automotive supply chain. And a lot of the stuff it makes is sold to Americans. But with the shift to electric, that was at risk. The Powerco Gigafactory changes this. It pulls the entire EV value chain north of the border. Well, a lot of it anyway. Canada has vast resources of critical minerals, lithium, nickel, and cobalt, that are essential for these batteries. This partnership secures a domestic supply chain for Volkswagen's entire North American operation. The goal, it's pretty simple, right? PowerCo wants to secure raw materials within Canada. This isn't just about a factory, it's about a building an entire resilient ecosystem, which right now depends on China. It's about to change that, hopefully. The government incentives are pretty massive, including over $16 billion from the federal government alone because this plant is considered vital national infrastructure. It's an investment that secures Canada's place in the G7 auto market for the next generation, says Canada. Now, is that going to be true? Well, what do you guys think? Let me know. As the Canadian Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, Melanie Jolly, said... We are taking an important step in making Canada a world leader in the EV and battery industry. This is a generational project. As the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, emphasised, creating thousands of high-paying jobs and supporting the local steel and aluminium sectors. So, let's bring this back to ground level in St. Thomas. Mayor Joe Preston perfectly captured the local feeling, saying, the excitement is palpable. The plant is slated to create up to 3,000 direct, highly skilled jobs at the factory itself, but indirectly, it'll create thousands, probably tens of thousands of jobs in the surrounding supply chain, construction, and local services. So this is what the government is paying for. The job recruitment process is or end away, targeting local talent across southwestern Ontario. This is a massive injection of economic vitality of economic vitality into a region that's been focused on manufacturing for a long time. It secures employment and industry for decades to come. However, there are some challenges. Of course, there always is. As always, with infrastructure this massive, there are some problems. Local reports suggest the Gigafactory will require around $400 million in upgrades to the local water system alone. And that's a pretty big cost. And it's a reminder that building the future isn't cheap. It requires enormous investment and coordination across every level of government, which can sometimes be quite difficult, as Tesla found in Germany. So here's the bottom line. The global EV race is heating up and the manufacturing battleground is North America. Tesla is ramping up. Asian rivals are entering the US. And now the Volkswagen Group, a global automotive titan, is planting its biggest flag right in Canada. The pouring of this concrete isn't just a construction milestone. It is a defining moment for Canada's economic future. I personally think this is a big positive story. This will solidify the unified cell as the standard for millions of future EVs made in North America and ensure that when these EVs hit the road, a huge portion of their power will come from St. Thomas, Ontario. Let me know what you guys think. Is this $7 billion investment enough for Canada to secure the North American battery crown? Drop a comment below. And thanks for watching.